All right, so I'm assuming everybody went and got this, and everybody at least got the LCM, Sam of? Who? No, I didn't get the LCM. Juliana? Yep. So our least common denominator, or multiple of our denominators, is going to be 2x plus 2 and x plus 1. All right. Now, um, when looking at this, remember, guys, we don't need to include 2x plus 2 twice because we're just trying to, it's redundant, right? So we just need to include the least amount that they need to share. So now, to get rid of my rational expressions, I'm going to multiply every single term by my LCM. That's OK. As long as I multiply every single term, I'm going to keep equivalent fractions, right? Or I'm sorry, equivalent equations, correct? As long as you multiply everything by the same term, you'll keep equivalent equations. So we're not changing um, the answer. So I'll multiply everything by 2x plus 2 times x plus 1. 2x plus 2 times x plus 1. 2x plus 2 times x plus 1. And it's important because now we notice that my 2x plus 2's divide out to 1, divide out to 1, and divide out to 1. So now I'm just left with x minus 8 times x plus 1 plus x times x plus 1 equals 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 2. Whew. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, I've showed you guys how to multiply binomials. I've showed you FOIL, I've showed you box method. I'm going to kind of do these in my head to kind of work through them a little bit quicker, OK? Because there's a lot of multiplications of binomials, all right? So over here, yes, Hazel? No? OK. So over here, I'm going to have x squared minus 7x minus 8 plus x squared plus x equals 4x squared so I have 4x minus 6x, so minus 2x, and then minus 6. Is that what everybody got? Did I do that correctly? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. OK. So I just applied our traditional FOIL and distributive property um, to get those values. Ryan, is there a problem? No, no, okay. no problem. So now what we're going to do is we obviously know, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of quadratic terms, right? So what we're going to want to do now is make sure we get our quadratic terms, or I'm sorry, all of our terms onto the same side, and then to make sure that some, it equal our quadratic um, equation is going to equal 0. So then we can apply factoring, quadratic formula, or completing the square. So I'm just going to get everything over to the, actually, let's first combine our left side, and then we'll get over everything over to the left side. So x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. Negative 7x plus x is a negative 6x minus 8 equals 4x squared minus 2x minus 6. Right? Now, let's get everything over to the left side. Huh? Over to the right side? OK, let's do it to the right side. So I'll subtract 2x squared, I'll add 6x, and I'll add an 8. So subtract 2x squared, add 6x, and then add an 8. Right? Those all go to 0. So therefore, I'm left with 0 equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 2. Yes? Now, if I was going to factor this, the main important thing is you always want to, whenever factoring, the best thing to always do first is to factor out the GCF. And the GCF in this case is 2. So I could say 0 equals 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then if I wanted to solve this, right, I could divide by 2 on both sides. So I have 0 equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now we need to determine, can we factor that? Yeah. Yes. This equals 0 equals x plus 1 squared. You could also use a zero product property and say x plus 1 times x plus 1 equals 0. So then you could say x plus 1 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0. Or if I just write it as x plus 1 squared, I can now use the square root method. And therefore, I can get 0 equals x plus 1, subtract 1, subtract 1, x equals negative 1. OK? You, could have, you also could have done x plus 1 times x plus 1 equals 0, and then you got two values of x equals negative 1. 
Oh, OK. That's fine. You still get the same answer, right? I'm so low on just one percent of time. Sorry, go ahead. So what you did is you multi you factored out a two and just left it as two times x plus one. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Can you just combine? Can you just multiply the one on the right? 